Hi, my name is Mark Holtzman. I'd like to show you how to find industry average information on money.msn.com. So right now you're working on your project and you've gotten to part G. Obtain industry average ratio information and prepare the industry ratios. Find the industry average information at money.msn.com and then there are various instructions here. So first thing to do of course is open your internet browser and go to money.msn.com where it says get quote type in the name of your company or your company's ticker, ticker symbol I'm gonna do Apple and here you can see some basic information about Apple go to the area that says key ratios right here under fundamentals and it will provide you with ratio information about your company. Now, in Excel, these are the ratios that you're looking for. So the first one here is return on sales. Go to Microsoft um, Money MSN, and return on sales is going to be found under the profit margin. So click on profit margin, and recall that return on sales is the same as net profit margin. So here you can see the industry net profit margin. And one of the things you're going to need is the name of the industry. It's shown right over here, consumer electronics. So your net profit margin here would be 20.65. You go to your spreadsheet, and it is 20.65, like so. Next is return on assets. So here you would go to investment returns and one of the items is return on assets return on assets for the industry the next one is return on equity here it is return on equity the next item is accounts receivable this can be found under management efficiency it's called receivable turnover accounts receivable turnover sometimes referred to that way and it's 7.36 and for the company according to this website it's 13.49 here is your inventory turnover in the next item and then asset turnover is shown here the next thing the current ratio is going to be shown under financial condition because it's a liquidity measure so here you can see the current ratio 1.48 for, for the industry. The debt ratio and free cash flow aren't provided here and they're not required for the spreadsheet. Financial leverage is shown right here. The leverage ratio, the industry average is 1.77. And that should give you all the industry average ratios that you need. Remember as you're doing this to note the industry. The industry name is consumer electronics and Here, it's worth recording that you are looking at the consumer electronics industry. That's the industry that, you're, that this company happens to be in. Thank you.